This is the story of Richard Dick, better known to his friends as Riggy Dick. Richard might look like you and me, but he suffers from a rare condition. Personality-itis is when the personalities within a person do not get along. This is Holden. He's a good old son. Remember when asked you why you so slow and dim-witted? You let me handle it, okay, boy? You and this is Ricky. Ricky prefers coloring books and cartoons. I guess it's just like how you handle that speeding ticket on the way over here, yeah? <laughs> a week ago, Richard was fired from his job. And with Christmas around the corner, Richard is desperate for work. You little bastard. When they're trying to run away from you, because they smell like they're dead. Uh-huh. You need to wash your feet. <laughs> yeah, just remember the reason you act the way you do. That damn horse kicked you in the head. And I don't know why you carry it around with you all the time. Act like some little baby or something. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, yeah, matter of fact, he did. And he gave me some superpowers, too. Hey, fuck, boy. What kind of superpowers come from getting kicked in the head by a horse anyway? Today, Richard's invited us along to a job interview in hope it will bring him good luck. Here comes the manager. Oh, shit. I hope Richard realizes that he's talking to himself. Oh, well. Let's hope he makes up for it in the interview. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, superpower is seeing the world through a shaky cam. You get it? Get it? You ain't got no superpower. Regardless of this initial setback, Richard soldiered on. Well, Richard Dick, what makes you believe that you can uh, do the job that's advertised? Well, I think I have a pretty impressive resume there, sir. Okay. Um, what is a sense of tumor? Well, see, I got uh, kicked in the head by a horse when I was little, and well, I've always felt I had a tumor in my head, so I say it's a a sense of tumor is what I got. I think it's a special skill having that tumor. So do you mean a, a sense of humor? Well, people tell me I got a sense of humor too. Tell them where people I tell people. them it's cause of that tumor. We're good with people. Yeah, we are. We're good We're with persistent. people. You tell them about the time I slept on yeah, the very best lawn for a week until she agreed to go with me to the prom. Dude, you're a dirty liar. What? You didn't go to no prom. You're a dick. Delivering pizza don't count. I'm sorry. The pizza was just a dog, you know. Uh, well, he uh, choked on it. You're a dick. You're both dicks. Hell, I'm a dick. I'm Richard Dick. And I'm gonna see us through this. Whatever this crazy shit is. You can count on that. Over here, and you're like set up over here, and so you're over there. So basically, what we're doing now is like putting in two minds, putting the, the viewer in two minds. What's actually going on here? I thought it was film. Well, I need to check back in at Sunnyside at 6 p.m. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers man. That's me in the corner. DA. Torpedo. <laughs> Join me next time for uh, Richard Dick. Torpedo. Torpedo. Hey, by the way, Dick, dude, do you mind me asking, what, what job was he applying for? Man, dude was actually applying for the head of the mental illness uh, program. Mental <laughs> illness awareness program? Yeah, exactly. Shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Hell yeah, why not, man? <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> I was going to say something next. <laughs> Richard Dick! Okay, let's do it, do it again, come on. Come on. Come on.